Lake Murray, 41 miles long, 14 miles wide, covering 78 square miles of land. Some call this lake the Jewel of the Midlands, created in 1930 by the Lake Murray Dam. 75 years later, Scanna is assuring the future of Lake Murray. Built for the right reasons, built for the long term, the Lake Murray Backup Dam is a remediation project like none the world has ever seen. In 1927, construction of the original dam begins, led by William S. Murray and his New York engineering firm, Murray and Flood. Farmers sell lake property for as little as $1 an acre. Work crews don't have bulldozers. They use steam shovels, trains, and mules. In two years, the dam is ready and the lake is filled, covering churches, homes, and cemeteries, entire towns, by the end of 1930, the Lake Murray Dam is generating electricity and international attention as the largest earthen dam in the world. The lake has filled many roles since, serving as a practice range for Doolittle's Raiders, a prime recreation destination, a major source for power and water. Now it is one of the fastest growing residential areas in the Midlands, and over the years, the Lake Murray Dam holds strong. It is bolstered several times to increase safety. The benchmark for safety is the 1886 Charleston earthquake, rated at 6.5 on the Richter scale. New analysis in the mid-90s finds that earthquake was more likely a 7.3. In a quake of that magnitude, the dam might not hold. Working with the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, SCANA considers its options and determines that building a backup dam is the safest choice. To pay for this tremendous project, SCANA will use tax credits rather than do as other power companies and apply those credits to the bottom line. The safety of the public downstream cannot and must not be compromised. Our goal for this project is to enhance public safety and at the same time ensuring that Lake Murray remains a viable resource for generations to come. In 2001, SCENG moves equipment and buildings, draws up plans, and solves problems. As project manager Sam Stockman explains, engineers and contractors are grappling with challenges never encountered before. This was once the largest earthen dam in the world, so the work that we're doing behind this dam now is something that has not been done before to this magnitude. Uh, we're having, uh, having to go back and retrofit the dam, an active dam, uh, and build another dam immediately downstream. And it's just something that hasn't been done before. One fortunate discovery, a large pocket of rock on the site. A 60-acre quarry provides material to build the backup dam, important because it means Scanna will not have to transport rock. Another idea. Coal ash from the McMeekin generating plant can be used in the roller compacted concrete mix. The project ultimately recycles 99,000 tons. And then there's the lake. Dam construction on this scale has never been attempted anywhere without draining the lake. SCENG is determined to preserve as much of Lake Murray as possible. In 2002, the lake level is lowered to 345 feet and holds there. Once the preparations are complete, excavation begins. Crews dig below bedrock, creating a stable foundation 50 feet beneath the bed of the Saluda River. Crevices in the bedrock are filled with concrete mix. Concrete is an essential component throughout the project, with more than 5 billion pounds of it in the center section alone. Concrete, we normally get at our house for sidewalks, has a 3 quarter inch aggregate in it, which it's easier to work. Uh, this here is real difficult to work. It wears out a lot of the equipment. It, it's real abrasive, so it, it makes it a lot harder to work with than your conventional concrete. We have a two-inch aggregate, three-inch aggregate, three-quarter inch aggregate, and then we make our sand through this crushing system. After it's crushed and then stockpiles, we put it into our pug mill. It goes into the pug mill blended with uh, cement and fly ash, 
and then it's conveyed to the placement. Safety continues as a primary focus. Monitoring systems are set up to gauge any shifts that excavation might cause. It's the S word, safety. Safety is the reason for the project to begin with, and safety is a preeminent concern that we have as we're doing the project itself. We want to be sure that there's nothing that we are doing in the excavation that increases the risk that the dam may fail in some fashion. As with any construction project, there's the unexpected to overcome. Crews work day and night pouring concrete, keeping construction on time despite heavy rainfall in 2003. By early 2004, the center section is rising. In the spring, refilling of the lake begins. Crews hit their peak by fall, placing 18,590 cubic yards of concrete on November 3rd, a North American industry record. They have, in one 24-hour period, placed enough concrete to cover a football field with an 11-foot thick block. In 2005, the center section is complete, a 2,300-foot-high wall that contains more cubic yards of concrete than all of SCE&G's power plants combined. The South Carolina Department of Transportation still has to complete a two-lane road between the new dam and the old dam, expanding Highway 6 to four lanes. But for SCANA, it's time to celebrate the culmination of 20 years of collaboration. At a ceremony on June 23, 2005, the $275 million structure is officially dedicated. This owner demanded safety, demanded quality, and demanded productivity. But most of all, they demanded integrity. But they didn't just demand integrity, they demonstrated by example. As, as proud as you are of Saluda Dam, Bill, I'm, I'm sure you're even prouder of your people than you should be. And as you, you and others drive by this dam, I hope you will uh, look at the dam and, and not necessarily think about the millions of yards of concrete or the millions of hours, millions of man hours that went into uh, creating it, but rather let that be a, a monument that you can truly, a tangible monument that you can truly get your hands around. The, the things that, as employees here, we live to every day. For almost three years, this has been the largest active dam construction project in the United States. Now, the Lake Murray Backup Dam can take its place in history, an achievement to stand for the ages, a mile and a half long symbol of SCANA's enduring commitment to serving its community.